It's August 28th. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update. I'm here with Dan Bingham and Grant Dewey from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. Thanks for being with us, gentlemen. Uh, for most of the week, we saw interest rates continuing to trend upward, a little more pressure on the technical environment for munis. Dan, let's start with you. What uh, kind of activity did you see? So the, um, you know, the big news uh, this week was uh, on the broad front with a Category 4 Hurricane Laura at uh, Louisiana was interestingly one of only eight Category 4 uh, storms to ever hit the continental United States. You know, damage assessments there are still being determined, but uh, clearly a, a good-sized storm was there. Um, in addition, House Speaker Pelosi and uh, Chief of Staff Meadows continue to no negotiate the prospect of an additional stimulus plan, um, but nothing done at this point. It doesn't seem like that's going to happen in the next week or so. Um, within the bond markets, we did see yields uh, continue to increase uh, with the 10-year Treasury back to a 72 basis points, the long bond back to a 150. It's the highest yield since uh, June on the long bond. And with that, we saw some pressures across the municipal market, you know, coupled with some of the seasonal pressures we tend to see uh, as we roll into the uh, end of August into September. 10-year uh, MMB currently at 80 basis points, uh, and that was seven basis points higher on the week. 30-year MMB back to a 155, and that was nine basis points higher on the week. Um, and as we roll into next week, uh, this week's calendar of 9.3 billion, um, next, uh, sorry, this week's calendar of 11.2 billion and next week's calendar of 9.3, continuing the trend of uh, very heavy issuance. You know, the dynamic continues of uh, about a third of the calendar remains uh, taxable municipals, um, but it's still a pretty heavy uh, issuance and uh, wide expectations that we're going to break above 400 billion of issuance this year. And we saw uh, the 16th consecutive week of cash inflows to municipal bond mutual funds. Uh, Lipper reported a billion dollars of inflows for this week, but uh, other trends, as you mentioned, seasonally are not as favorable. What uh, what's going on there? Yeah, the uh, one billion of uh, inflows this week uh, is it's still a pretty meaningful number, but it's trending lower. Um, as it seems like week to week, we're trending a little bit lower, a little bit lower, a little bit lower, but it's still meaningful numbers. Um, but this typical seasonal, seasonal patterns as you roll through August, uh, where issuance picks up from maybe a sum, summer lull, you get some uh, traditional outflows of college tuition payments and various other things. Um, you get corporate tax date on the 15th of September, quarter end on the, uh, on the 30th of September. So traditional pressures that might build in the market and cause, typically causes some pressure. And other cash coming in from uh, coupon payments and redemptions, uh, you know, peaked earlier in the summer. It's 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 rotating right. for uh, for the fall, right? Um, so Grant, let's transition to the new issue market and how did that uh, how did that play out in the demand, particularly for uh, insured paper, was very strong, right? So we continue. I mean, listen, year to date issuance, we've seen uh, insured municipals are up fifty percent versus uh, last year. So uh, you know, all year we've seen. Uh, increased demand, but even you know over the last three weeks, even though we've seen you know consistent inflows, uh, this is the third week in a row where actually the Muni index uh, ha has fallen. So it was about uh, you know in terms of MMD, uh, it was about uh, eight to ten basis points this week. So you know with a little bit more weakness, deals priced, a little bit more to sell, uh, we've seen more insurance and even on the double A side of things. So. I think this week, uh, we don't have the final numbers yet, but I think penetration is going to, you know, uh, be in the 12 to 13 percent, which is, you know, twice uh, what we've seen um, in recent history. Uh, you know, for, for BAM, we had another another good week. Um, as as Dan said, there was a lot of taxable issuance. Uh, we uh, we insured more than uh, 400 million of new issues, but the biggest deal being uh, Tampa Hillsboro Expressway, uh, the J.P. Morgan underwrote, so that was a very successful deal. Uh, we also did a $26 million Green Star deal for Opelika, Alabama utility rev. And um, so we continue to be very active there. And I think more of the same next week, there's over 400 million of uh, BAM deals uh, teed up. I would say uh, the, the largest of which uh, right now is 183 million uh, Lehigh County Authority water rev. So, uh, you know, very active um, uh, in the market and especially for insurance. So we expect that trend to continue as, you know, that you, you guys discussed the technicals. Uh, we are seeing a much more balanced 
supply demand picture. So we do expect uh, that trend to continue. Great, and of course, viewers can keep an eye on BAM's YouTube page for updates. We have a uh, Credit Insights video on the Tampa Hillsborough Expressway Authority transaction, and there'll be others coming up in the next week for uh, additional new issues. So you can uh, register here, follow the link to register and uh, follow BAM's YouTube page, and uh, we'll see you again next week. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, Mike. market is unpredictable, BAM gives you certainty. In the face of market volatility and illiquidity, BAM-insured municipal bonds deliver default protection, value preservation, and a durable AA rating from S&P. BAM's insurance protects against everything that causes a default, including natural disasters, financial fraud, pension issues, and economic disruption. So while America rebuilds, BAM has you covered. BAM. Build America Mutual. Talk to your investment advisor or visit buildamerica.com.